Everybody, I wanted to do something and apologize to uh, Herc Soap Company because throughout the video I kept referring to it as Mustachio. So I am so sorry. The soap I am reviewing is from Herc Soap Company and it's uh, Beyond the Pond is the soap from Herc Company. So when I met, when I kept saying Mustachio, it other than at the beginning, talking about the giveaway, but while I was doing the, the shave, I kept saying, Mustachio, it's not the soap I used, it's from Herc Soap Company. So, mia copa, mia copa, and I am so sorry for my CRS moment to uh, Herc Shave Company. Thank you. So now, get on, watch the rest of the video. Thank you. Everybody and welcome to She Shaves with your host Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. So just a reminder before I start doing the review that I'm going to do today is to make sure that you go over to my last video, the uh, Mustachio and Company um, giveaway link. I cleared all the cleared it all up the way you enter, but go to that video, the Mustachio and Company um, giveaway video. And all you have to do is be a subscriber and type, I'm in. So I want you guys to get in on it. So, with uh, one of you will win a 4-ounce puck, and you will have your choice of the Cool Citrus Herb or the Scotch Pine Cranberry. So, that's out of the way. Go over there. Watch the videos on it. It's a very good soap. Very good soap. So, today, I am excited again. When am I not excited? I am going to be reviewing a new soap to me, and it is Beyond the Pond by Herc Soaps. And I cannot wait to use this. Being uh, uh, a Marine that served in the uh, U United States Marine Corps, you see these women aviators on there. And the scent on this is Japanese Lotus Blossom and Oak Moss. So it's geared toward a woman, but I'm going to find out whether guys can use it. Because there's a lot of rose scents, or, you know, or Lotus Blossom flower scents that guys can use. Plus it has Oak Moss in it, so it might be appropriate for you. Let's find out. So, let's... Uh, the brush I'm going to use, I'm, and I'm going to... I'm going to do this for, I believe it was David Burney um, that said that he really likes this brush of mine. <laughs> he really likes my Weeble brush. <laughs> and if you don't know the story behind it is, this is a vintage, um, is that, uh, T, what is that? A 200T. And what happened is, I tried to get the old knot out of it, and I was using the boiling water method, where you loosen the knot and, you know, just pull it out. Well, it was put in with epoxy, and that did not work. So it totally distorted it, <laughs> as you can see. And I just had to keep it, so I call it my Weeble my weevils wobble but they don't fall down brush and i replaced it with a really nice uh brush from ap shave co or, or company ap shave co the knot from them so that's the brush i'm going to be using today's razor i'm keeping with gillette razors for the rest of the month i had done the uh review on that new uh gillette heritage so i'm going to be using all um, uh, vintage Gillette razors for the rest of the month and Gillette blades in them. And this just happens to be my gold-plated um, aristocrat. And in that, I am going to be using a Gillette... Oh, oh, it's catching on there. A Gillette stainless, and I don't know if this is the new old stock red package or if it's a new one. So, whatever. I'm loading that in there. 
twist to open on the aristocrat and everything is very nice and even so let me get my brush wet it's a synthetic knot so it doesn't need to soak and what I'm going to do with this soap I'm going to do this with any new soaps that I did usually I totally overload everything um, and I am going to do only 20, 20, you know, seconds of a load on the soap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and 20. I don't know if those were full for the second, so I'm going to do five more. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> but that is a shorter load than I usually do. But it certainly did load up a whole lot of soap. So I'm going to grab that Pro Lather and put that on my face because that stuff is some good stuff. Let me wet my face more. Heck, I could do a pass with just the Pro Lather. I don't think I'm going to have any problem just doing a 20 second load. Alright, let me put that down. Get up there, no stud. All right, that's kind of a pre lather. Pre lather. Let me rinse my hands off. And I'm going to start using my Captain's Choice Bowl to lather. To build a lather. Oh, that smells really good. Mmm. It's already starting to build a nice lather, as you can see. So, I hope you guys had a good week. Nothing awfully dramatic happening for you. And that's coming up with a nice lather Let's see there's no bubbles in it so let me add some more oh I forgot to fill my sink sorry about the running water I hope it stays because my sink as you all know acts up and a lot of times it doesn't want to stay in. Well, I think this is one of those times it's not going to want to stay in. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush a little bit to add a little bit more water. Let's see how much water it can take. Smells divine. And the lather is all nice and creamy. A lot of sheen on it already, if you can tell. I think I'm going to have more than enough with just a 20 second load. For a full three pass shave. even more water. So how many of you have tried Herc soaps out there? Let me know in the comments if you've tried it. Very reasonably priced, very reasonably priced. Military theme for um, the names uh, of their soaps, which I always like having been a Marine. Look at that. Crazy. And that was just a 20 second load. 
that's going to be more than enough for a three pass shave. Wow. Wow. Look at that creaminess. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can you tell already that it's going to be a good shave? <laughs> I need I I need a screen a screenshot of that. <laughs> oh, that is some creamy goodness. Oh, I'm so glad I got some of this. Now they also sent me two samples. Uh, with my order. So that was cool. I asked them if there's any other soaps they'd like me to review if they want to, you know. Uh, I'd be glad to. I stuck a couple samples in there. So that's very cool. That is some great looking lather. And it didn't take much to work that up like that. I'm impressed. This little weevil brush does really good. <laughs> so that's for you, David. I'm pretty sure it's Dave, David uh, Benby who <laughs> mentioned my ugly duckling brush. <laughs> wow. Got my hair did the other day. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So I'm all faded back up. This brush works great. Look at that. That is some great lather. Alright, let's take this vintage gold-plated aristocrat in the Gillette blade to the face. I try to buff in my uh, trouble area, but use longer strokes up there in the cheek. Push that out with my tongue and buffing strokes on the problem area. Oop, stay in frame, Jill. Wow, that was nice. This blade in this aristocrat is really, really nice. Oh my goodness. That is a perfect blade for that. This soap is marvelous. I could get away with two passes. I know I could. Holy moly. Let's go to pass two. I almost put the brush in my mouth while I had it open talking. <laughs> I think most of us have tasted some of our soaps, right? <laughs> Look at that. It's just peaky, peaky, peaky. Of course, I will have the link down below for them. Ugly Duckling, you do so good. 
very nice knot from AP Shave Co. As you can see, it's a great painter. And it lathered that up wonderfully. All right. Let's do pass two. Out of frame. All right, let's see where we're at this round. Oh, I could end it right here. I really could. There is like nothing left. Just a little tiny bit. Which those after, you know, after you're shaved, they recede back in anyway because they're plump with moisture. But you know me, I'm not going to stop there. <laughs> Hell no. Wow. McStachio and Company, you got a great soap here. leg shave with it and I got plenty of soap left in there to do at least one leg <laughs> I have to dip back into it for more more I will <laughs> but you can see that was only a 20 some second load and I got great lather from it that alone would make an economical soap. And I can add even more water. Let's try that. notifications turned off. Yep, it took that water. It could probably take even more. But I am quite happy with that. So this is actually only touch-ups. But I'll do the full face. stud.
perfection. All right, let me rinse this off and I'll be right back. <clears throat> No need for a touch <coughs> touch up after that third pass. I'm trying to get most of the soap off of me. <laughs> okay, let's go in with a whole one water rinse. Do I recommend their soaps? You damn well better believe I do. I've been lucky. I haven't had too many of turkey turkeys of soaps to review. I did get some soaps from a company, and um, I just can't review them because I can't give it a good review. I had uh, several uh, samples, and every single one of them gave me a irritation so it's not fair to uh, just do a review to tell you that the soaps weren't good so I'm sorry to the vendor that uh, I got those soaps from but they just weren't up to par and I wanted to be fair and did all I did four shaves with the soaps and every single one of the scents gave me irritation so no can do all right let's see here what am i using for my post shave you ask well the <laughs> the container broke on this but this is the crown king red planet star jelly aftershave and it's more like a like a cream type thing so let's put some of that on Crown King being from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I just love the scent of this. And it's got some cooling in it. That's for sure. It's very nice. Okay. And for the post shave, um, Say a balm, I'm going to use Sterling Soap Company's unscented so that it won't clash with anything that I've used. It could, st I could stay with just that star jelly, but um, I wanted to use this tonight too. So I'm ensured of a very supple and soft face. Put a little on the decollete here. scent in my hair which my cats will be sleeping with me and chewing on my hair later tonight <laughs> at least one of them has that habit <laughs> they just love the scent of the stuff that I use in my hair so that is another Gillette uh, razor that I used today the gold toned um, aristocrat with a Gillette um, Platinum in there. Isn't that what I said? Gillette Platinum? No, Gillette Stainless. I'm sorry. That's a Gillette Stainless that I have in there. And I use my Weeble <laughs> brush with the knot from AP Shave Co. And I lathered it up in my Captain's Choice Bowl. And we just did that, but the crown... Uh, Crown King Red Planet Jelly and the Sterling Unscented Pochet Balm. So that's a wrap. Good luck to everybody. I hope you go over there to that video to win um, yourself one of these uh, four, four ounce pucks from Mixtachio. Good stuff. Check out the reviews like I said again. So if you've not already subscribed, please do. If you feel like it, you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comments. I want comments. 
Have you used this soap before? Um, have you used that razor before? Have you used those blades before? Anything. Uh, what you might want me to use in upcoming videos. You guys know I have a shit ton of razors, including ge uh, vintage gems and and Gillettes and modern day razors, etc., etc., and a shit ton of soaps that I'll never use in my whole lifetime. So help me out here. Tell me what you guys want to see. So with that, I'm going to say good night for now. And you guys know I love you, right? Right. <laughs> Bye.